two Facebook posts going around looking for people to join gift and wine exchanges. I was a victim of this last year. I heard. I'm still I know. upset. Well, for the benefit of our viewers, Amy is here this year to tell you all about that and why you should stay away. We're also talking about a majority of car manufacturers acing new safety tests, Amy. There's a lot yeah, going on Yeah, we're going to talk about that first because it's the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety. They came out with their top safety picks for 2018. And the head of that agency says the results of its crash test are good news for the driving public. This year, 62 vehicle models earned the Institute's top safety pick award, with 15 of those earning its highest award, despite tougher criteria requiring better headlights and enhanced passenger side protection. So Hyundai and Subaru lead the way with the most top safety plus awards, which now, as we said, includes that category for good headlights. Without that headlight category, Toyota has the most vehicles, 10 that received top safety awards this year. We're going to link you to the entire report on click to Houston.com. OK, this is the deal that left Rachel thirsty. Have you seen this? <laughs> it's the secret wine bottle gift exchange. It's a message on mm -hmm. Facebook looking for people who want to send one bottle of wine and receive up to 36 in return. Don't join in. So Rachel did this, learned the hard way. Yeah. But the Better Business Bureau is warning now that it's a scam. So the BBB warned consumers last year that the wine exchange and a similar secret sister gift exchange that's also going around was nothing more than a pyramid scheme. So here's how it works. If you buy one gift for a stranger, you'll supposedly receive as many as 36 gifts or wine bottles. In Rachel's case, it was cases of wine in return. And then six friends invite six more friends who all send gifts to the participant in spot one. Before that person's name is removed, this whole process this repeats itself a participant in the second spot and so on. Sounds like an old chain letter, Amy. It's, it's a very pyramid confusing. scheme and the people at the bottom give, but they never get anything. Yeah. So pyramid schemes are illegal. And aside from that, to join those exchanges, you have to disclose your personal yep. information like your home address to strangers, people you've never met online. Mm -hmm. So the BBB says you're going to give out personal information and get nothing in return. So is that what you'd like this year? Some wine? Yes, I'm still waiting for my case. I look at the little people, still nothing. <laughs> she died. I said, well, you joined the high end one, the whole case. It did. Get... It asked for a case and said, you're going to get the case. And this is, it was a hundred bucks. You're out. Yeah, that's a lot. Still nothing, Amy. Right. Okay. So we're talking about something else coming up at six 